so this is the competency standards that we are following to prepare for a bad exam and so far we have covered the first domain which is related to autism core knowledge we have covered ast and its common characteristics and deficits its uh, red flag the risk factor the terminologies the commonly associated disorders comorbid disorders we have covered this whole and today we are going to start with the legal ethical and professional considerations in which we will be covering all these topics and for now we will be going through scope and role of practice for the abed and applied behavior analysis technician what is your role of practice and what is the scope of your practice we will be covering that today ABET is a professional role certified by home QABA qualified applied behavior analysis credentialing board ABETs are trained to provide direct one on one behavioral intervention services but under the supervision of a qualified behavior analyst typically in what settings schools clinics homes or community environments so basically you have to work under the supervision of a qualified behavior analyst and and the abet credential is certified by qaba board now what are the primary roles of an abet these are to implement behavior intervention plans bip designed by a board certified behavior analyst bcba or a qualified behavior analyst qba so basically you are not supposed to create plans you are not supposed to design plans but instead you are supposed to implement the plans designed by your supervisor and uh, the supervisor has to be a bcba or a qba then another role of an abet is data collection and recording to monitor client progress and inform the supervising analyst so you have to uh, collect the data and record the data teaching and reinforcing appropriate behaviors using evidence based practices from aba so uh, reinforcing the uh, behaviors and teaching them according to the aba practices this is also the role of an abet assisting clients with skill acquisition in areas such as communication social skills daily living and adaptive behavior so for skill acquisitions plan uh you have to assist the client in these areas the role and scope of an abet is also to work directly with clients who often have asd or other developmental disabilities you have to work directly with clients but you have to work under the supervision of a qba or bcba as also mentioned here abets work under supervision and are not responsible for creating or modifying treatment plan so what are the scope and role we covered to implement the plan to collect data and record it to teach and reinforce behaviors to assist client in skill acquisition and to work directly with the client but under the supervision so these are the role and scope of an abet coming towards the mcqs what is the main responsibility of an applied behavior analysis technician abet providing one on one behavioral intervention services under supervision in which settings do abets commonly provide services schools clinics homes and community environments which of the following task is outside the scope of an abet's role creating and modifying treatment plans who typically designs the behavioral intervention plans bips that abets implement board certified behavior analyst bcba or qualified behavior analyst qba 
which population do abets most commonly work with clients with autism spectrum disorder asd or other developmental disability so this was all about today thank you for watching